This little thing that I'm working on is called various things. I call it a spool. It's also called a knitting loom. They come in many sizes. They're really good to work on because they have a little groove so that you have a place to put the hook to get it off. And it's portable. Well, it depends on the size. This size is portable. This one works by wrapping. You wrap from one peg to the next peg to the next peg. And then this will hold it until I make the next row. You make a row by, you start with the bottom loop and you take it over like that. And that makes a stitch. This one is basically finished. I've sewn a wire all the way through each of the last remaining loops so it's not going to fall apart. So I can take this off now. Okay, so I've taken all these loops off. I'm going to pull them together. You can see what, what's happening is it's narrowing the opening. So at this point, I'm actually going to run the, the, a wire through all the loops again to make it double up here, so it'll be a little stronger. And then I'll pull it totally tight. And then from then on, I put my hand inside and I can do anything. I can stretch it. I'm going to keep this wire rather than cut it off because I'll crochet it and push it down inside. This one is a single stitch. For every loop on, I took one off. This is a finished one of this size. If I wanted it to be denser, I would make it like this. This is a double stitch. Each time, I'm doubling the number of stitches. In both cases, I'm using two wires. The other way you can control the density is how many wires you use at the same time. This one has three wires. The only reservation is how hard it is for you to move it your hand. So a lot of things have sprung from just this.